to another episode in the 12 Travels of Christmas series. We are still in Portland and we are on day number three and today we are at the Portland Gallery. The Portland Gallery is one of two galleries in the parish. It can be easily missed but as a landmark it is opposite the gorgeous paintings on the walls when coming in the town from Hope Bay. The gallery is currently located inside the old Portland Railway Station. Fun fact, the station was built in 1896 to support the transportation of goods from Portland and other parishes for export. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk to the person in charge here who is currently painting. Are you going to see a little about what he's doing? And they also offer classes here i'm gonna find out the pricing and everything when you come here so you know exactly what you can do when you get to portland because it's not just beach and falls there are other things that you can do here in portland so i can see what's going on the gallery is currently operated by artist hopeton cargill who offers free classes to anyone interested This one, yeah. So this is done 65 times now. 65 times. 65 times. Yeah, look at 65 times. This one. Uh, so hold one. on. Does that mean you you do it the same way? I just fit the same way. Oh. And some people like it. You know? So how do you remember? Uh, the, um, how it looks. Picture. Huh. Even when I, the, the original picture was here, so right. it's about only one bread food. But you take picture of the bread food uh -huh. and, and this one, you know? Okay. Yeah, so um, there are many different things like that. Like, uh -huh. what is it? So you remember every time how to yeah. do the same thing? Yeah. No, 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 wow, no. that's so cool. Rula um, Hall was the first painting I did back in 1993. And it looks so... It look, so, so it looks, this just repeat like a couple of weeks ago for the same person who ordered this one. And oh, so you refresh it? Yeah, right, right. Ah. So this picture taken like um, before I born, still this picture, Whoa. orange picture. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, so I'll go on. So somebody can take a picture, give it to you and you Yes, that's what we do over the years. Oh nice, yeah. nice, nice. A lot of people I teach from this department here. Mm -hmm. all over the place, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the fee for, for um classes? No, we don't charge. You don't charge? Don't charge it's classes. free? Yeah. The it's your time, so most likely you will come and we will um, tell you what to do. Alright, we are going to test it if you can draw. Okay. And if you cannot draw, we are going to show you how to draw. Oh wow. So if no. you pause the drawing seat and you want to paint, we are going to show you how to paint. What? Why isn't this in Kingston? So like I'm mostly a look on my process. Yes. So if you did a uh, try to paint something, I'm not too perfect. Yeah, I'll just get the color for you and say, all right, put some green and stuff. And walk across with that. You look just like green. Yeah. And then you put that in the yeah. yeah. So you know, this, this, this one looks like folly. Yeah, oh, that is like them. Oh, this right is right folly. Right. Okay. That's where we went. Yeah, we went there last week. Yeah, yeah I think for water thing, because those water things are like, yeah. yeah, cardio. Yeah. Open cardio. Yeah. Okay. Denmark. Denmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So how long have you been doing this thing? Well, my, my smaller brother brought me in the point of 1992. Wow. <laughs> so like. I was I was one year old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a couple more. Well, a couple more in weeks to come. My birthday, right? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. In terms of um, signs now, can a company come to you and say, okay, I want this to be done, are you charged? All right, sign now done by Zach. So Zach, okay. Yeah. So sign that banner. So uh -huh. we have the vinyl team, do thin car, uh -huh. and do no taxi. Okay. All type of sign you get done. From laptop to cutting machine. So this is the part. 
You do all of the signs and yeah. things. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cups and pretty t shirts. Everything. Right. Yeah. So, what are your prices for these paintings now? Well, we have painted all different prices because, um, like, like Blue Lagoon, right. we're doing for, for like 45000 Hold yeah. on, this this piece here is for 45000 Yeah, I was, yeah, I sell this like 45000 Okay. For, for my, this is my friend Zach. Uh -huh. His friend wants that, so we got a cheaper price, you know? Okay. So, okay. Can't have something, you know? okay. Yeah. So, so, like a big one like this now, yeah. nice big like one. This, this is going for 150000 <laughs> I teach over the years too. So um it's somebody interested in to you but um it's a COVID kind of getting Yeah, yeah man, I understand. Yeah. So you have different sizes. Yeah, what's different your what's your range in terms of prices? So okay. A small a small size range from this up or um, big yeah, yeah, from yeah, this up. We are paying the light on ten grand and yeah. Okay. Yeah, and like, so, and then floors and so forth. The floors? Yeah, yeah from ten grand. Ten grand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, these are Margaret Garan. Margaret Garan, we do the rural report for Portland. Mm -hmm. um, like $50 US. $50 US. No, oh, I know. This is, is John Kuno, right? I think so, you know. Is, um, That's John Kuno. This picture from the long time, so we produce them. Yeah. So this is less than 10 grand, yeah? Okay. Uh, in this, because um, it's a clean thing, too. Nice, nice. And parsley, like parsley. Yeah, I'd love to have these up in my house. <laughs> Yeah. This is a really nice one though. Yeah, so this is like what, 200? 200,000? Your price will be the latest, it will be And this is like a big money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, only 100,000. 500,000. 500,000? 500, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that is your gulp in price. The gulp in price, yeah. 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 So acrylic, I, yeah, I like acrylic. But I am the only one who uses oil, so this is oil. Oh, is it, yeah. is it so it's oil on canvas? Oil on canvas. Oh. And this is acrylic on canvas. So anything that Mark Upton Cargill is oil on canvas. Okay. But the other artist them use acrylic. So how do you tell the difference between oil and acrylic? Um, the oil it carry a sheen and a smell because I use linseed and turpentine in it. Uh -huh. So it carry a smell, even though the acrylic carry a sheen too. This carry sometimes the acrylic carry more sheen than the iron. I prove that for myself. Okay. Yeah, so um, even after I finish, you can even put them with a, 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 a layer of um, lacquer and it looks shiny. Let's say you don't have a reference for a picture, Luki. You just draw something out of your head or? Uh, most likely uh, with the camera nowadays, they take a picture. Uh -huh. like it, so I want to go on canvas. But um, sometimes I draw from my head. Hmm. Uh, so which one of these you drew? You drew from your head. Um, none of these over here. Um, okay. None of these. Um, but in, in, like say, in the bird fruit, right. some of it, the, the diamond them shaping, thing them. Um, mm -hmm. If you look at the picture properly, um, they are not that way. They are set in the way or or, or uh, uh, feed in. I can get it out. I'm making okay. it proper, you know. Yeah. Okay. So you have to retouch every now and then. Oh, uh, if you were well, yours, you have a little bit combo to support. So if they um, poop on them, so you have to beat out your spot and support them. Right, right. So sometimes you take them and dust them. My one with I know what I do, I use Lindsay there to shield them back off. Okay. Uh, you know, fall off them. And yeah. some person who can get in touch with me, but when it is um, living and dusting down, sometimes they look like dog. Um, uh, we still like you can buy some linsey dye and just put it in a sponge and dry it over. What with kind of oil? Lin lins yeah, lins that's linseed. Yeah, linseed. That's what I'll Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so like this. Linseed oil, otherwise known as flax oil, is good for giving oil paintings that glistening appearance. It was also interesting to know that the oil is used for oiling a cricket bat and giving horses a shiny look. So in terms of arrangement of your painting now, how do you go about choosing the colors and... All right, normally, oh, if me, um, all right, normally if I photograph more, right? I take a photograph and I look at this. Right. I will just, all right. Uh, so a picture like that now. A picture like this, now paint this now, you see? Well, I'll take the pieces out and I would have looked for the colors in the pencil mm -hmm. and squeezed them out. 
All right, let's squeeze them out. So and how do you know how much to squeeze out? Or you just, you um, do, you you just you wing it? You squeeze out um, too much. That might work with the farmer's skin after a time, a little skin. And when you bust the skin, the paint still with underneath there. Okay. Still with underneath there, you know? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it's still on here for like weeks and still... Weeks? Have, yeah, weeks. Yeah. It still have substance under the skin there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we still use it that way. So, you know. But acrylic now dry like fast, so if they squeeze out too much, they're going to lose it. So if they're going to pack up now, they can even get back the two paint and uh, what meat and put it back inside and like it back. Okay. Yeah, so this is what? This is oil? This is oil, oil yeah, painting. Pure, yeah, okay. Pure. So how long it normally takes you to, to design something like this now? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I can make this from about like, um, like Monday. I start beating the Monday? Yeah. So I plan to do it this coming Monday. Oh, one week? Yeah, yeah, one week. This coming Monday. That's not bad. And then uh, this now, would, how much would this you charge for this now? Well, this one is all uh, I charge. Eighty-five thousand for this one. Eighty-five thousand. Eighty-five thousand yeah. in one week. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how many hours of work do you actually? Because I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think you do it non-stop. Because I have to stop and yeah, yeah. leave sometimes. And so, eat you know, and all of these things. I so add up the hours and you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. how many hours do you think? I would say like um. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated to say the amount of hours, you know? Yeah. Right now, you say just go based on feeling. Yeah, yeah, based on feeling. Roughly, it'll be like, you'll be about a week, you know, you'll be about a week. Because um, sometimes, I come in, some of you did not find yourself really busy. Mm -hmm. When I come in like 9 o'clock and start, I leave like 5 after 5. Oh. You know? So, all the time I come in, a little bit late. So, I've been sitting there for a time. I also took a look on Mark's workshop another artist working with Mr. Cargill. This one looks like he's going to be interesting. This one here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. This looks cool. This is so colorful. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is 469 Are you recording that? Yeah, recording. 469 That's Look at this, like... The, uh, I, yeah, that's it's like abstract, like you know, like it's finished already. Don't yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's Mark, and he's doing a guinea pig again. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's yeah. A... so Mark. No, Mark, you show somebody to paint with acrylic because acrylic is easy. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Sorry, that's Mark's father. Yeah? Oh, yeah. hi, Mark, father. I <laughs> see. <laughs> 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 You've been doing it for so many years, you must like it, you know, must, yeah. <laughs> it must be... True, yeah, true. Can pay your bills and you know, can live comfortable? Yeah, um, paying bills and uh, live comfortable, um, even without doing this, I have to make myself comfortable because, um, for people to appreciate art in Jamaica, it's like a few, mm -hmm. a few, so sometimes you have to... It like it it's hard to get the people to buy you know because yeah. people buy already over the years so it's sometimes the same people in kind of supporting the thing yeah overseas now we get the sale from overseas um when you meet somebody from overseas and you sell them painting um when they, you got that market kind of going going sometimes most likely you give you a problem to get the cash from them yeah and those are for money in germany oh and they can't do stuff with you How do you ship it? That, is it well, um, what, it's uh, like credits. special box or we, um, oh, so you know how to off, um, we have a thing like this. Mm -hmm. We um, put them in, we okay, we them like a calendar and push yeah. them inside here. Cool, yeah, yeah. send them. Cool. So, like, um, yeah, I never sell online, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Person, I have to do it like a steel by stage and go outside and send them the image and then they say, all right, there's uh, something in the computer. I don't know already. The mark where we are, like where we are, correct yourself. Come back and correct it and look good and send it back again. Oh. Excellent. So that person oh. don't know me, but I get my cash and they get it. They get, yeah, yeah that's, so, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. 
if I'm just starting off my career being an artist now, what are the tools I would need? You will need a um, canvas, brush, and think of the thing that you're going to use to clean. Which okay. one you, you choose to um, um, fit you better. Okay. If you're going to use oil or acrylic. But for me, for me it's true, I use oil. I'm ready to teach somebody with oil. Um, because I know the method of the oil already. Okay. You know, all the oils work. Yeah. So you have the preference to use oil, that's yeah. your, your yeah, thing? Yeah, that's my idea. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have for the Portland Art Gallery. If you are ever nearby and would love to learn how to paint, be sure to stop by.